This is a conversation with one of the merchant's account holders uh, from Wise Money Internet Solutions. And their account was closed in 2008. And they were allowed to debit three of my credit cards for 21550 in 2012 without even having a merchant account open. How does this happen? Anyway, the guy's name is... Okay. Anyway. Okay. One of your merchants by the name of Internet Solutions has debited my several of my accounts and this merchant was shut down in 2008. Now, I am currently the, the amount yes, and I'm currently being sued by Discover and there's and there um, only defense is that everything that I'm saying is hearsay. Now, they're saying that I'm lying basically. That no. not, nothing that I'm that I'm professing is true. And it's not hearsay. You speak something, and it's not a lie either. If you're telling the truth, that's right. right. <laughs> and they're motioning for judgment, uh, summary judgment, based on that. He's already perjured. He's already committed perjury. He said that I did not provide any documentation as of nine first of September, and I spoke to his office, and they were they were in receipt of the documents for discovery that I sent on the 26th of August. Anyway, you know, and there's no way that you could provide any kind of letter of statement. No? no? And, why, and why is that? You're not my customer. <laughs> Rick is my customer, and we're not even doing business with him anymore. So I would have no knowledge of the sale. I would have no knowledge of any of the circumstances surrounding the sale. Uh, I wouldn't know what was done, what wasn't done. I mean, my letter would be virtually irrelevant. Okay. But you do, in fact, know that, I mean, but it is true that they were shut down, correct? And they were your client. Their account was closed. Closed. Yeah. Their account is closed, And that was yes. in 2008. Is that, is that uh, correct? I don't know. I would really appreciate that. I'm sorry to bother you. It's just... Well, I'm not, I'm not going to take the time to do it because there's really nothing I can do to help you at all. Your only recourse is your own card issuer, your own card issuer, and you're saying it's Discover. It's Discover, it's Citibank, and it's U.S. Okay. Bank. It's $21,500. All okay. come with the same merchant? Yes. More than one merchant of your guys's. When were the charges done? 2012. And I've been oh, fighting yeah. it ever since. I've been disputing, disputing. Well, if you've got uh, proof that you've been fighting it since 2012, pretty much the card issue and bank have to allow to let you charge it back. They have to. Well, they're not. And well, I, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, who who would be responding to if if they were going to rebuttal? That's not you guys rebuttaling my disputes, is it? No, merchants do their own. They're doing their own chargebacks, their own rebuttals. They provide their own documentation. They do everything. All we do is coordinate things for them if they need help. And they're just completely yeah. lying. I mean, and it's clear. The merchants yeah. lie. Yeah. And discover. Well, I don't see the reason why discover would lie them. They're going to try and, you know, collect <clears throat> money from you. Well, the documents, they didn't really, well, first of all, the fact that they told me that my only recourse was through the merchant at the first instance, the re violation of Regulation Z. That's true. And that in itself, you know, is negligent on their part because for a long time I thought that I just had to pay it even if I did nothing. Yeah, you never have to pay anything that you don't want to want on your credit card. Ever. Oh, man. It's 
it's like, what do I got to do? The only time that you're really uh, stuck or have a certain amount of, uh, of is if it's, a, if it's a swipe transaction, if they you know, put it through a terminal. But if it's a key entry, like these were, you don't have any liability. Okay. You shouldn't. The, the banks screwed you over. I know they did. I know they did. I know they did, and I'm like... You have six months from the time the sale is processed to dispute the charge. Okay. And they're required by law to give you credit for it. Okay. There you have it. Oh, my gosh. This is just wearing me out. You know, and they've completed my funding. I, I mean, I can't even afford it. And, okay, so that's basically it. So I'm going to post this on YouTube.